fourth Sunday of Easter, year A, recognizing the shepherd's voice. The church celebrates the fourth Sunday of Easter as the Good Shepherd Sunday. It is also Vocation Sunday. The purpose of the World Day of Prayer for Vocations is to fulfill publicly the Lord's instruction. Pray the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest. Matthew chapter 9 verse 38, Luke chapter 10 verse 2. It is because each year the church reads from the Gospel of John chapter 10 that this Sunday is also known as Good Shepherd Sunday. The Gospel acclamation, John chapter 10 verse 14, insists, I am the Good Shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and my own know me. In effect, Jesus was not called a Good Shepherd, but the Good Shepherd. In John chapter 10 verse 1 to 10, Jesus is presented not only as the shepherd, but also as the sheepfold gate. Everyone passes through him, and all who enter through him will be saved. He distinguishes between the thief and the good shepherd. The thief comes only to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. However, Jesus, the good shepherd, has come so that we might have life and have it to the full. Unlike some people or some shepherd who flee when faced with danger, Jesus gave up his life for the sheep in his care. This is why he is the good shepherd. As Jesus is sheep, what is expected of us? We must follow him and we must recognize his voice. We are his sheep because we know his voice. There are thousands of voices around us. Lots of talks, yelling, and loud music. We hear many voices today, but unfortunately, many people do not hear the voice of the Good Shepherd. We can draw inspiration from Pope Francis' Evangelii Gaudium, number 171. In it, we learn the importance of listening. We need to practice the art of listening, which is more than simply hearing. Listening in communication is an openness of heart which makes possible that closeness without which genuine spiritual encounter cannot occur. Listening helps us to find the right gesture and the right word which shows that we are more than simply bystanders. Only through such respectful and compassionate listening can we enter on the path of true growth and awaken a yearning for the Christian ideal, that is, the desire to respond fully to God's love and to bring a fusion what He has sown in our hearts and what He has sown in our lives. With these words, Pope Francis wants us to understand the very importance of listening. We are encouraged to listen to the right voice, that is the voice of the Good Shepherd. Talking about vocations, vocation is all about recognizing the shepherd's voice and responding to it. Today the church concentrates on vocation, it concentrates on those who are called to the diversity of service and membership and to missionary life, especially to those who go towards others, what we call mission agentes. Many have already responded to this call and have joined, like to become bishops, to become priests, to become lay missionaries, to become monks, to join the consecrated life, religious men and women. Many are still to respond. In the same vein, many have drifted from what they are listening to. Many vocations end up prematurely because people do not take the pains to recognize the shepherd's voice. The church nurtures vocations through rigorous training so that the called or those called 
should become good shepherds for the flock, the Christians. However, we must pray for those who remain bad shepherds, who have not followed the example of Christ. And we must all strive to be good shepherds. So today, we are all encouraged, my dear brothers and sisters, to recognize the voice of the Good Shepherd. We are all encouraged to pray for vocations. We are all encouraged to look at Christ, the model of shepherds, and also to be good shepherds towards our brothers and sisters. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.